everybody. I'm going to be doing a test, solving a test on finance. So amortization, annuities, compound interest, and simple interest. So let's see how this works. The teacher borrows $900 for seven months at 4.5% simple interest per month. How much interest will she pay? She borrows 900, okay. Seven months, 4.5% simple interest. Okay, looks like we have a formula. I equals to PRT, right? We know we have that formula. So let's just insert that. So everybody knows what formula, that's the simple interest formula. We could use that, let's see. How much, how much interest will she pay? Ooh, we're looking for the interest here. Okay, then that's I. We're just looking for I. So then we can control C, copy that. Press control V, come in here press this again so if we're looking for the interest we can just plug right in so 900 times um, let's see R point zero let's put parentheses 0 0.045 so for seven months huh is the interest rate a yearly interest rate ooh it's a monthly interest rate in this one it says 4.5 percent simple interest per month that's a monthly interest rate, therefore this should be seven. Seven. Everything is in terms of months here. So that's it. I should get I should really get Desmos out for this exam. Let me see. Desmos. What was it? 900 times 0 0.045 times 7, right? So we got 283.5. So we can show our work by going like this. I equals to, what was it? Let's copy it. Let's, let's move the, our windows around a little bit too so we can get a good view here. So I'm gonna move this a little bit. Also make this smaller so I can fit it all in one screen. All right, let's see, 283.5, huh? Control C. Come back to the screen. What happened to my screen? Where did my screen go? Oh, there it is. Huh. Control V. Scroll down, press insert equation. All right. So I'm gonna kind of minimize things so we can maybe see a little bit better. All right. Okay, that's number one. It's a short test. Only six questions on this one. Number two, compute the interest on a loan of 18. And by the way, these are there's different versions of these questions. So this is just one version. There's multiple different types of questions here. So that was just one of the number one questions. The so number two has a pool of questions that you can get. So let's see. Interest on a loan, 1800, 4% interest rate for nine months. This is also simple interest, but the 4% is a yearly interest rate. So this one's gonna work a little bit different. We'll put 1800, 0.04 for the 4%, and then nine months, we'll actually say nine over 12, okay? So that's how we do that one. So 54 is the answer. 54, compute the interest on loan. Okay, it's $54. You should just put 54, but you don't need a dollar sign, but that's that one. Okay, number three. Anthony decides to help his niece. Let's just make this big real quick. And then just look at it like this. Anthony decides to help his niece attend a private college in 18 years. The projected cost of tuition, fees, and room and board when she starts amounts to 70,000 per year. How much should Anthony invest each year for the next 18 years to pay for the first year of costs? So that's $70,000. Okay. How much should he invest each year? Each year tells me that this is what? A annuity. Okay. So we need an annuity formula. So let me make this small again. What's our annuity formula? We need, that's a recurring payment. R equals to, ooh, kind of forget the formula, but we have formulas somewhere. If I make this, if I go to announcements, right click, open announcements, finance formulas, these are allowed on the test. So annuities, huh? 
Here it is. AI over 1 plus I to the N minus 1. Got it. Right there. AI plus over that. So I'm going to write it in right now. Um, let me write it in. Right here. So let me put AI divided by so I'll put 1 plus I raised to the N minus 1. Move my mouse. There's your formula. So I'm going to copy this. Bring it down here. Start plugging in. We need 70,000. One, two, three. Interest rate. What happened to our test? Let's find the test. Okay. Interest rate. 0 0.075 divided by what? It's per year. Oh, this one's per year. So we're dividing by one. The I equals R. Okay, so the the periodic interest rate equals the yearly interest rate in this case because he's saving up he is paying what it says how much did he invest it's per year basically for the next 18 years I think right interest is compounded annually so yeah it's yearly so we kind of lucked out so it's just 0, 0.0 if you got this version of the test you kind of lucked out because it's just divided by one and then this is just 18 and there you have it that's the answer so how should we show our work here we could say we can copy in this ah oh, it won't let me go all the way okay let's see control c i'll grab this switch to advanced paste and then i'll say equals grab this oops let's grab this control c control v and there you have it Press insert equation and look at that. How beautiful is that? Using Desmos and the advanced equation editor, right? Notice if I tried to paste this in to the basic equation editor, let me make this a little bit big for you. If I switch to basic, notice that it got taller. If I press control V, that's no bueno. Look, it doesn't doesn't work, you have to be in the advanced. So anyways, that's that, that works. This works. We got the recurring payment. Does it say to round? Uh-oh. It says to round, so then I'll say 19 what? What does it want to round to? Two decimal places? 1962.03 per year. That would be a great answer. Okay. Since it says to round, that's it. Next question. Number four. 7,500 is invested at 6.2% compounded quarterly. Cool, we got some compounding going on in the quarterly. Better than that annually one. Find the amount at the end of two years. Got it. Let's see how we do this one. Let's make this smaller. This looks like compound interest. That's it. We're not doing any recurring payments, right? We have a present value of principal that we're starting with. It looks like we just want to find the future value. It does say find the amount. That's weird. Amount. But it's nice that it says at the end of two years. That tells us that it's a future value of compound interest. Future value of compound interest. Where's that? That's this formula right here. Wait, no, this one. Compound interest. A future value. So let's see. Here we go. So basically we got a equals to P 1 plus I raised at the end. That's what we want to so plug into. I'll press control C, control V, go back to the test. 7,500 principal. Uh, what do we got here? 0 0.062 divided by what? Quarterly? Four. What do we got here? We got how many years? Two years times quarterly, four times two, that's eight. There you go, we have our answer. Um, can I just say equals, and then make this easier for me when I copy this? Control C, Control V, ooh, that's nice. Control C, come over here. Switch to advanced, Control V, and we got it, done. Look at that, beautiful. So Desmos is, works like a charm. All right, uh, if it says to round it to two decimal places, I guess I could have rounded it, maybe? Let's see, let's see, let's get rid of this. Let's, let's round this. Zero 
Can I get an approximation symbol? I don't know. Uh, approximation symbol. Hmm. Don't know. Hmm. I know I can maybe get this symbol, but... Eh. I don't have an approximation symbol. So I'll just say equals. And maybe I'll do that. Approximately equal. Let's see how... The equation editor handles that. Oh, I wonder if the equation editor has an approximation symbol. Hmm. Let me see. Real quick. Doubt it. Ooh. Look at that. Huh. Might be a little bit hard to plug in though. This might be a little bit tough for you guys to do, but but anyways, I was able to do it because I know LaTeX. So let's print next. Got it. Next question: The Cooper Foundation contributes forty thousand per year into an annuity for building a new zoo. The fund earns that. Find the amount in the fund at the end of ten years. So this time we want the future value of an annuity. It's kind of similar to the last question, isn't it? Find the amount in the fund at the end of 10 years. That's the future value of an annuity. So, hey, we got the, this is the four, no, this is not, this is not future value. This is future value of compound interest. Future value of an annuity was not this. So it's kind of related to this. I can kind of derive it from looking at that. So it's going to be A, yeah, might as well write it. A equals two, let's see. R times, and let's see, what's it going to be, R times 1 plus I raised to the N, I'm going to put divided by right here, oops, I don't want to divide up there, I'm going to go over here, then press divided by, I'm going to be dividing by I, come up here, I'm going to subtract 1, looks like that's right for the future value of an annuity. Yeah, I'm basically solving for A in this equation here. R times one plus I to the N minus one divided by I, that works. Okay, that's the formula we want to plug into. Future value of an annuity, 40,000 is per year. Ooh, it's another per year question, huh? Ooh, the, you guys are lucking out on this test. This is 40,000. Per year makes everything easier for your interest rate because you're just dividing by one 0 0.045 divided by one and here we have 10 years so that's 10 times one which is just 10 and this is just 0 0.045 divided by one I'm trying to I'm dividing by one on purpose because I want you guys to know that you need to divide by the compounding period in this case it's just one just trying to help you to remember that. We're rounding to two decimal places, so four, nine. Oh, I lost it. What was it? Let me let me just go like this. Copy that control C. I say, ooh, approximately, never mind. Get the approximately. Ah, oh, by the way, I just realized something that this is a numerical question. So you just put it in like that. Numerical questions, you just you just plug them in. You don't show work. Okay, so plus next. Last question of the test. This was a really short test. Find the monthly payments for the loan indicated. To purchase a home, a family borrowed 84,000. Annual interest rate of 6.6% .6 for 20 years. All right, we need the amortization formula. Okay, where is it? Let's grab, let's show you guys the formula that's right here. Well, what are we looking for in this question? Are we looking for, uh, what are we looking for? Monthly payment, we're looking for the monthly payment. So we're looking for R, this bottom one right here. So R equals two, PI divided by one minus one plus I raised to the end. Raised to the negative end, oops, almost forgot. All these amortization formulas, both of these have a negative exponent. I don't know if you can see, but 
try to zoom in for you, but now I lost. Okay. Let's see if I can move this over so you can see the negative n for both of these. These are the 5.4 amortization formulas or present value of an annuity. All right, so back to the test. Man, messed up. These all say annual interest. That's kind of making it too easy, but it's okay. Control C, Control B. We got the present value of this loan, eighty-four thousand, and we want to know how much we should contribute in order to get eighty-four. Or no, we're trying to figure out our monthly payments on this loan. So we got this zero point zero six six. That's a six point six percent interest rate, yearly interest rate. By the way, should have said divided by one to remind you guys. Hey, you always got to divide by something there. Uh, if it was quarterly, I'd be divided by 4. If it was monthly, I'd be divided by 12. So here we're going to do 0 0.066 divided by 1. We got a 20 year loan and it's annually. Everything is. Oh, wait. Find the month. Wait. Ah, monthly payments. Yay. This is monthly payments. So I got to change this to 12. And I also have to multiply this 20 years times 12. What's that? 2400? 12 times 2 is 24 with another 0. Or is that 240? I think that's 240. 12 times 10 is 120 times 2, 240. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. We'll be rounding this to two decimal places as always. So equals. So let's just say that this is going to be. We'll change the 3 to a 4. We got to round up. Right? Change that 3 to a 4. And we got it. That's it. That's us showing our work. Control C, come over here, Control V. Ooh, got the LaTeX. Control X, go to the advanced one. Control V, if we really want to be cute, we could change this equation sign to a what? To an approximation sign. But. All right, let's see, insert equation, there you go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our test. We just press submit que quiz, quiz, submit quiz, submit quiz, let's check it. Number two, what are the, it doesn't say it's, it's graded, does it? Oh man, I wanted it to grade it. That's sad, it's not grading it. Correct answers are hidden, that's fine. So anyways, there you have it. That's the test on finance, financial mathematics with all of these questions. Just remember if you see a little thing like this, that's a numerical answer question. So just put a number. If you don't see a little thing like that, you see like a big rectangle, then you can show your work. Like all, most of these are show your work, but there are a couple just numerical answer questions. We call those. So that's it. I got a two out of six. You can ignore that because it's not graded yet. So what else? I think that's it. So I hope that helps.